the room just staring at me. That's nice. Half of them are just going, is she, isn't she? <laughs> I appreciate it. I do look like a 1920s lesbian that's fucked a thundercat. <laughs> it's a look! So it's weird, I don't have many stories about this part of London. I've got one, but it's ancient old. And I thought, I've got to bring it up, because it's lovely. This is how old it is. I was smoking at the time. This must be at least two years ago. Uh, give me a cheer if you've given up smoking. Yeah, yeah you just the angry people. Oh, except one excited man in the corner. Going, yes! <laughs> Kill me! Uh, we're morons, by the way. Don't be happy about it. We're idiots for giving up smoking. Like, my last packet of cigarettes had a picture on it of a pair of lungs. And they're nasty, horrible, dead, brown smoker's lungs. Right next to that was a picture of a pair of pink, healthy, fluffy lungs. Now, I can't help but think both those people are dead. <laughs> <laughs> what possible difference can it make? Anyway, I was having the cigarettes, right? It's actually outside the Groucho Club. Mm -hmm. uh, just outside, not in it. Uh, and this woman walks past me on her mobile phone as I'm having the cigarette and says the most middle class thing. And just to put this into context, originally I'm from Oxford. And it is claret pop for me posh in Oxford. I don't know if you've ever met a drug dealer from Oxford. I'm guessing the front row might have. Uh, they're amazing people. They come up to you at parties. They're like, you've got to try this cocaine. You've got to try it. It's really good shit. Give it a bang. Oh, come on, it's fair trade. <laughs> They're proper, right? This woman beats them, right? So I was having a cigarette, she just walks straight past, only get a snippet of what she says, but she just goes, yeah, and then he put his hand up my skirt. Oh, you know, the Jaeger one with the pleats. <laughs> <laughs> go at you for being posh, because let's face it, you are. Uh, particularly you guys, look at you. I mean, honestly, I bet we do all our shopping in the charity shops. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, no, I don't want to have a go at you, seriously, because my boyfriend's posh. No, yeah, boyfriend, fuck off. Um, <laughs> I just heard a gasp go, <gasps> yeah, honestly, I, I mean, look at me, darlings, obviously I've tried it. Can't go lesbian full time, seriously. One, I can't do the hacker. Uh, that's the lesbian dance of strength, for those you don't know. That's a comma tape. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but also, I don't know if you've tried making love to them. Seriously, I don't. But it is... <laughs> like that, honestly. Uh, bless you. He's built like a little Lego shit house. He's quite cute, really. But... Making love to women, take it from me, it's hard work. You've got to concentrate on it. You can't fall asleep. It's not like being with a man, right? Because <laughs> they're like, it's like trying to bake a cake in a really complicated oven. It's all valves and flaps and timings. <laughs> Mary Berry must be amazing at it. <laughs> because men, I mean, bless you, you're not complicated ovens at all, are you? You're more like microwaves. <laughs> You've only got three functions, off, rrr, and ping. <laughs> and a few of the gentlemen here defrost. Uh, <laughs> now, for those of you confused at what I am, I'm the least popular of all the sexualities. I'm a bisexual. Hello. Uh, I'll give you an example of how popular it is. Give me a cheer if you're bisexual. One girl in here. One girl go, woo! Oh, fuck. I understand. <laughs> no, no, they're fucking liars, aren't they? The rest of them. Like, literally, it's meant to be one in ten people. Come on! I do understand why you don't want to come out, though. Even my best friend, I'll be going around hers for dinner, and she'll be like, Izzy, is there anything you don't eat? Oh, sorry, you're bisexual, you eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's also, it's not cool, like, being gay. Being gay is amazing, because you can be out and you can be proud. You can't come out as bisexual. You can't go, Mum, Dad, I'm indecisive. <laughs> also, I cannot talk to my mother about sex at all, at all, ever, right? Because my mum loves to talk about sex, right? And it's, it's awful. I had to tell her that I was bisexual because basically I did my degree in geography. So, oh yeah, we geographers, we know how to get around with slags. Um, I got a degree in mud and the causes of mud. I could not get a job, okay? The economy exploded. I was there going, oh, Jobs in data entry, and that's not as exciting as Star Trek fans think it is. Okay? <laughs> well done, we got a few in, that's nice. He is fully functional. Uh, live long. Uh, but no, I, I, I had to move in with her because I got this stupid. And geography is a rubbish degree, in advanced colouring in, it's useless, even for writing jokes. I've written one joke based on geography, which happens to be true, right? The highest unsolved murder rate in the entire UK is in Wimbledon. 
really posh area of London. That's the highest um, unsolved murder rate, not the highest murder rate, okay? So unsolved murder rate. And apparently that's because nothing strips a corpse faster than a womble. <laughs> I should have done history, I like history. I like finding out little facts about history all the time. One fact I found out recently was Apple Crumble. You know Apple Crumble? Actually invented during the Second World War. It was invented during the Second World War because we didn't have any like eggs to make cakes and pastries. We didn't have any eggs during the Second World War because all the chickens sided with Hitler. <laughs> it's a true fact, but no, after university I had to move back in with my mother and this was not good. I was saving up for a deposit on a flat. It was, it was bad. It was an awful time. And of course, different people were going into my lovely pink boudoir, which isn't my alternate name. It's, uh, my bedroom was pink, right? And, and, and so she was like, what's going on here? So I told my mother that I was bisexual. I swear to you, I have never seen her happier. She's like, really, darling? Oh, no, that's wonderful. I'm so relieved there's something interesting about you. <laughs> no, 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 but you mustn't feel bad. You mustn't feel bad. No, because, you know, I've thought about it. I've done anything, but I have thought about it. No, no, seriously, darling, but do you find women have got very soft bodies? I don't know if I could keep that. They're very soft and... <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, darling. I wouldn't mind getting a wet face. <laughs> <laughs> that's my mum! Listerine cannot wash a brain clean. <laughs> I have tried. <laughs> Sorry, I, I will recover. And it's weird because people often ask me, so how can you fancy men and women? Because to be fair, you're a very different beast. I mean, look at you two, you're very different. But I'll be honest, especially when they see the people I go out with, because every like girl I've been out with has been very feminine and beautiful, and every single man I've been out with has been like Henry VIII but furrier. <laughs> That's what I like, the big round furry ones. I do not understand this obsession that boys have nowadays with wanting six packs. Why? Why do you want a six pack? Why do you want to look like a Nokia 3310? <laughs> the only reason a six pack would be any good at all is if you lost your legs, you lost your arms, you could still get about by undulating across the carpet. <laughs> like a short stumpy snake also in a group you would be stackable, which, um, Lego bricks, nice. Uh, <laughs> but no, honestly, I sense scepticism, by the way, particularly from this girl here and you guys down here. Honestly, there is nothing better than lying in bed at night while your fella's having a bit of a kip. And he's proper brown, he's proper furry, so you can put your hand in and not see it. You know, that <laughs> beautiful stuff. <laughs> and he's just having a little kip and it's dark and you just have a little reach over, have a feel and not know which direction he is facing. <laughs> like an unwrapped pack of butter that's been rolled across a barbershop floor. <laughs> I, do, I do have one, I have one little gripe with you hipsters down here, right? Which is, you know, because you remind me of my friends, because they all grow silly moustaches and that's just the lesbians. But no, honestly. <laughs> I do not understand this obsession because all my vegetarian friends have recently decided to just, no, instead we're going to eat meat, but we're only going to buy organic. We're only going to buy organic. And I'm just like, why? And they said, well, at least then you know, like, if you buy organic chicken, the chickens had a happy life. I'm like, fuck them. Do you know what they did in the Second World War? <laughs> <laughs> also, just think about it. It's the wrong thing in our society. If I could bring a message to you, don't eat organic food, okay? Don't kill and eat animals that are happy. Eat the miserable ones. <laughs> Thank you very much. Good night.